Shortly after Art of the App's monthly membership went live, there was a big update to the Project Life app, which included free form text, as well as the app being available for free in the App Store. Freeform text was covered in one of the original class videos, but back in August or September of 2018, there was another update to the app that focused on text, and that was having the ability to add your own fonts to the Project Life app. And in this video, I want to show you how to do it. I'm going to open up a page I have started that I want to add a title to. And actually, it is a collage page. Uh, what I did here, this was actually, I think it's the Big Shot 17 template that I just want to place one photo in. I exported it out to my camera roll and I brought it back in to the 12 by 12 full page collage. That way I could put a title anywhere I want on this page. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to tap my photo and I'll select the text tool here at the upper left hand corner. And then you have your key pad and then a little menu bar above and if you come over here to the F right across right there this is actually your font library and if you scroll all the way to the left at the very end of your library you have the word more and this is actually kind of your font shop that is available to you in the app and um, you know you could, you could there's several different fonts that you could purchase or up here at the very top you can install your own fonts so I'm going to tap that and you know you read the two different ways that you want to install your fonts now I have a font folder in my iCloud Drive so I'm this is the way I'm going to install mine I'm going to tap here at browse and then I'm gonna to scroll to my font folder oh actually I'm, I'm let's see I have two different ones and I think the fonts that I want to use are in this one I'm gonna scroll down here to Baker script and you can see that my Baker script font was installed I'm going to X out of here and just to show you where it shows up it's going to be right here at the very end of my font list. Not only can you install letter fonts but you can install icon fonts or fonts that are more like illustrations as well and that's what I'm going to do next but I'm going to do it from a different area of the app. So I'm going to X out of uh, my page here and I'm going to come to my library. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of your library, you have a my font section and this is just basically your font library, but just a different way to access it. If you come all the way over to the right, you have the add fonts options and this should look familiar. You go ahead and you can install your fonts from here. I'm going to browse back over to my iCloud Drive. And I want to install this font down here. It's called KG Flavor Frames 3. And it's a free font from Defont. And this particular font has been blowing up social media groups lately who are dealing with the Project Life app. And um, I'm going to uh, show you why in an upcoming video. But when working with fonts like this, you may want to print out the font table that comes with it for a reference. And what this does, it'll give you a key as to which illustration is assigned to each letter. So you're not typing a letter and realizing, no, that's not the illustration that I want. Um, your file, you, when you download the font, it should come with a, a key like that, but if not, um, you can always just access the website where you got the font from and you can see the chart there, okay? So I'm gonna select that font and it's going to install it for me. And then let's do one more. Again, it's a it's a kind of an illustration font but this is more paint stroke so I'm going to select grunge strokes 
and it's all installed in my library. You can see that I've got Baker Script, Flavor and Frames, and Grunge Stroke at the very end of my font list. Now in this area, this is where you can delete a font as well. And to do so, all you have to do is tap on the font and you can select Remove Font, set it as the freeform, default freeform text font or the default journaling font. And if you select Remove Font, it's going to ask you, do you want to delete it? I'm going to say yes and it's going to disappear from my library, um, but that's okay. I could always go back and install it later. Now, the one thing that I do want to point out is that you cannot delete the fonts that have come preloaded in the app, okay? This is, that delete option is just for the fonts that you install on your own. So let's go ahead and add text to my collage. I'm going to open that back up and I'm going to select the text tool and I want to make sure that my yep my Baker script font is selected it's that one that I installed just a few moments ago and I do want to change the color to this medium blue I'm going to move this up here and then type in Mira Bay this is the name of the community that we live in I'm just going to maybe make this a little bit, oh, let's increase the size just a little bit, move it over, and then I want to add another text box, and I'm going to change the font this time, and I want something, a nice sans serif. Let's see, what do I have? Did I install any on my own? If not, I'm going to stick with this one. Again, I'm going to change the color to that blue and just put in Clubhouse. Bring this up here, and I do want to decrease the size of that a little bit. Let's move it over some. Let's center it. I like it to just center these a little bit more on the page in that white space. Perfect. Okay, and there you go. You had a quick lesson on how to install and uninstall fonts. Move on to the next video where we're going to be talking about another big feature added to the app, and that is backing up your pages.